Tulane won the toss. They will defer until the second half. And there's the boot to start the 1993 season. Kevin Lee fields it, and he's brought down around the 26-yard line. So there you have it. Jay Barker and the Alabama offense on the attack. Second down and seven. Palmer in motion. It's the reverse. Here's Kevin Lee wide open and leading the way. Roosevelt Patterson, the speaker from Mobile, is going to score a touchdown unless he gets caught from behind. He's marked down at the six-yard line. Kevin Lee with that bursting speed. Again, the full look backfield. Sherman Williams watches celebration. Is he going to shake? They outlaw that. And no shake because that would have been a 15-yard penalty. That's a subtle shake from Sherman. From the 28. Right up the pipe. Goes to lane. Carrying the football is Kevin Tingley, the fullback. Third down and two. Tulane stays to the ground. And it looks like they may have the first down. First down, ball on the 38. And there was a great fake by Randall as he shuttles it out to his tight end, and it's close to another first down. All right, after the clock problem has worked out, Tulane will punt. Chip Clark, the senior. Palmer calls for the fair catch on about the nine-yard line, and that's where the tied second drive will begin. Second down and six. Sherman Williams finds a huge hole, goes for a first down. Mike stayed, made the tackle, and he'll make a lot of them. Chad Key is in the ballgame now, wide receiver for the Tigers. The screen set up to Sherman Williams, who fumbles the football. Ruffin Hamilton recovers for Tulane. From the 24. Randall, again a nice play fake. Damian Jeffries with the pressure wide open. Touchdown to Lang. Derek Franklin, a freshman out of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Good look at Jay Barker. Toby Shields, his All-American center. The rollout. Wide open, Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee caught from behind, but that was a beautiful play. Parker back to Chris Anderson. Anderson gets a nice block from Tarrant Lynch, falls forward, breaks a tackle, and he's run out of bounds by Ruffin Hamilton. First and goal from the nine. Anderson finds a hole and a touchdown. Chris Anderson from Huntsville. Nice spiraling kick, a nice boot. Palmer fields at the 10. Back pedals, comes forward, finds a gap. Big Al needs oxygen when they score a lot of points. The big fella gets tired. Bergdorf hands off to Sherman Williams, who again finds a nice hole and gains about nine yards. Bergdorf hands off again to Williams, who spins free. As we go down to Scott Hunter. Ryan Deal, his first punt, Will Urson deep, number one for Tulane. A high towering punt, not exceptionally long. Urson calls for the fair catch at about the 16-yard line, flag down on the play. Roughing the kicker on the defense. That's 15 yards and a first down. Number nine, a quarterback, just kind of floated in there, gave him a shove, and that was 15 yards. Sherman Williams looks to the outside. Wiggles his way out of a couple of tackles, all the way up close to a first down. 45 seconds to play first quarter. Here's Sherman Williams again finding plenty of running room. First down, Alabama. Michael Proctor, a 36-yard field goal a year ago. He was 6 out of 10 from 30 to 39 yards. No good that time. Brian Deal on the hold. Chip Clark is the punter. Mike stayed the up man for Tulane. Mario Morris was on the blitz that time for Alabama. It's a nice roll down to around the 34-yard line. Third down and five. Sherman Williams in motion. Parker back to pass. Takes to one side, eludes the rush. 
Is that Kevin Lee again? You better believe it. First down, Alabama. Second down, 17. Jay finds David Palmer that time. David Palmer in the slot. Jay zooming in. Todrick Malone catching his first pass for Alabama. Jay Barker hands off to Terrence Lynch, who again breaks a tackle, finds a nice hole, and it's a first down Crimson Tide. Cedric Anderson made the stop for Tulane. Chris Anderson, those quick feet, breaks to the outside. That time he could not break that tackle. Chad Key wide right, Todrick Malone wide left. And off right up the middle and breaking tackles. Horace Turner, his first carry of the 93 season, a young freshman. It's close, not quite. But they spread it out this time with Key and Patrick Malone. Horace Turner, Terrence Lynch. It's fourth down, fourth down and inches. Chris Anderson scores his second touchdown of the afternoon. It's 20 to 7. We'll see the play here. Watch the two lane linebackers. Watch them. They're streaking to try to get outside. They lose sight of Chris Anderson. He cuts it back inside. Not a bad situation to have a man who kicks off to give your field goal kicker a little rest. This time, the deepest of the three kickoffs for Watts. Fumbled. Ligon will come up with it. Goes nowhere, brought down around the seven yard line. Derek Franklin, the man who caught the touchdown pass, bobbled the initial kickoff. Chip Clark, down in that end zone that gets awfully loud. Nice angle. Good look from behind Chip Clark, who gets off a nice kick. David Palmer fields at the 45. Cuts upfield, and he's brought down around the 37. Parker back plenty of time. There's David Palmer. That time they connect. Palmer brought down at the four-yard line. There's that stacked formation with Lynch, Anderson, and Sherman Williams. Sherman Williams prances into the end zone for another Alabama touchdown. Second down and six. There's a nice hole and a first down for Tulane. That's Gerald Sowell, the freshman from Baker, Louisiana, closing in on two and a half minutes to play before halftime. Randall again with a nice thing. Wide open is tight end over the middle. Another nice fake. Canaan that time is covered, and there goes Randall. Scampering up close to a first down. First down and five. That was a foul up that turns into a nice game for Tulane. 45-yard attempt. Bart Baldwin. Looks good. And it is good. Wide for Alabama. Bergdorf. Up the middle, Torres Turner. Goes forward for about eight yards. Time is ticking away. They barely got that play off, and uh, Torres Turner finds a huge hole. Falls forward, and uh, he'll like that when he looks at the statistics a little bit later. A nice run to end the half for Torres Turner. And that does it for the first two quarters. Gene Stallings and the Crimson Tide walk off the field with a 28-10 lead. Scott Hunter. Chris Anderson takes it into the end zone for another one of Alabama's touchdowns. This is live action. Derek Franklin takes the kick. Out to around the 22-yard line as we check in with Scott Hunter. Lemansky Hall is back in the football game now. That's good news. Brought down quickly by Michael Rogers. Michael Rogers, a key figure on the defense, the number one ranked defense a year ago. Randall over the middle. Close to a first down, but I think he'll be marked down a couple of yards short. David Palmer will field it at the 19. Breaks to the outside. And Tulane does a nice job of bottling up David Palmer. 
some odd yards in the first quarter. Barker, 8 out of 9. Make it uh, 9 out of 10. David Palmer catches it for a first down. And on the ground, Chris Anderson. Goes forward for a gain of 4. It'll be third down and 3 yards. Fourth down and 2, so Brian Deal will punt. Second time this afternoon. And the fair catch called for. And it will bound into the end zone. Jeffries lined up on the outside where you might have seen Eric Curry a year ago. Nunley, Elbert Brown. Here comes Will Brown from the outside, converging. Wide open, and again, credit the quarterback for keeping his poise and finding his open receiver, Scott Sanchez. Sure, that's what Buddy Tevens uh, wanted from his young quarterback. No mistakes. Oh, Will Erson had it in his mitts and dropped it, and it's intercepted Alabama. Tommy Johnson comes up with a loose one. Will Erson had it right there, but Tommy Johnson was Johnny on the spot. Second down and 16. Barker sacked on the last play. Scrambling out of trouble. Tucking it away, taking a lick. Picking as he falls forward. Did he get a first down? He just might have. Of course, the final four teams will go on to Atlanta in the 1996 games. And Sherman Williams breaks free and gets close to a first down. Another strong run from Sherman Williams. Of course, the Crimson Tide plays on grass, the PAT in Tuscaloosa. Chris Anderson goes forward, gets the first down as the drive stays alive for Alabama. The ball's marked at around the 16, so it'll be a 26-yarder. A year ago, he was 7 out of 7 from this distance. And make it 8 out of 8. And there's a man who uh, is nicely, Elbert Brown. Where's number 94? There you see him right there. Right defensive tackle. He's charging forward, and there's Royal uh, with the pressure. And a face mask penalty on Elbert Brown. Second down and 11. It appeared that Mario Morse was lined up offside. There's a completed pass, so Tulane will probably take the completion and decline the penalty. The pass was incomplete. We have offside on the defense. Five yards. Nunley, Brown, Ozell Powell all in the game. Completed pass and a first down. Greg Randall. You never know what somebody is thinking, but uh, you got to believe Mr. Kunain uh, heard some footsteps from Antonio Langham that time because uh, fake punt for Tulane. Mike Stay gets stopped well short. Not a well-executed fake punt. Matthew Pine is the snapper, a very talented snapper, a man who rarely ever makes a mistake. Been holding down that job for three years now at Alabama. He'll with a terrific punt, way up, gets a terrific roll, and it's down at the two-yard line. That gets the crowd up a bit. Randall turned to the official, and he's urging. I cannot hear the officials telling him to go to work. Two seconds on the clock. There's the handoff up the middle, and he breaks free. Gerald Sowell will go all the way unless he runs out of gas. Gerald Sowell will go 98 yards. Tulane scores a touchdown. That was Scott Hunter's tie, if you're wondering. Sherman Williams breaks a tackle, breaks free for a first down and more. 13 and a half minutes to go, fourth quarter. 31-17. Bergdorf back to Sherman Williams. Again, running along the right side and let's give Roosevelt Patterson some credit for uh, opening a huge hole Bergdorf that is a lateral so David better get on it and he does and he's thrown for a big time loss of about uh, 10 yards Brian Deal his last punt downed at the 2 Will Urson fields at the 14 looking for a wall but not much of one Ten guys up on the line. A flag down on the play. I think they're going to get Alabama with a face mask. Clipping on the return. First down and ten after half the distance to the goal. 
And again, Randall asking the official for a reprieve. There's the pitch right. Student body right, and uh, he gets pushed back. His forward momentum will surely be up around the uh, four or five yard line. Great play fake. Randall has the football, and he throws deep for Will Erson. Intercepted Tommy Johnson. Sherman Williams, Terrence Lynch, line up in that uh, pro set, if you will, behind Bergdorf. Bergdorf gets sacked. He's down. His knees are on the ground. Pushes him back into the backfield and knocks Brian Bergdorf down. Great play by Batiste. Brian Deal has to punt. Will Urson calls for the fair catch at the 20s. Eight and a half and counting. There's Randall. There's the man of the hour. Gerald Sowell gets brought down. The whistle didn't blow. Third and one. There's Sowell bowling forward. Gerald Sowell is lined up in the fullback slot. And again, a marvelous job of play faking. And picked off Chris Donnelly. And he's been starting for the last two years down here. Even with that 98-yard run for Tulane, Alabama still dominating in that department. Tommy Johnson, Tony Johnson, excuse me. That one appears uh, headed for the end zone, or at least Will Erson hopes so. It stays up, though. And the Tide uh, carried it into the end zone for the touchback. He shaved his head along with Jeremy Nunley and Lemansky Hall. They're teeing off now. Damian Jeffrey gets his first sack in 1993. Standing right in the crown of the football field. Clark lets it fly. David Palmer calls for the fair catch at the 45-yard line. Alabama, their percentage on third down conversions has gone down 6 out of 15. Sherman Williams, they're spreading him out, and he uh, converts a first down. And a good call by the official. Williams did step out a little short. Jeremy Pennington uh, was in at right tackle. He's a freshman from Vernon. And Bryant again uh, doesn't get the favorable bounce that time. And Tony Johnson downs it. Next week, the Crimson Tide travel to Nashville to open Southeastern Conference play against Vanderbilt. The Commodores taking on Wake Forest this evening. There's a fumble. And it's recovered by Willie Gaston for Alabama. And again, that's the uh, All-State quarterbacks at their uh, respective high schools. There's Freddie. Big kid for a uh, quarterback. 6'3", about 225 pounds, true freshman. Oh, there's a... Turnover, and I think Tulane's gotten it right back. I do believe they have. Brian Steger and Freddie just couldn't hook up. Tulane football. 38 ticks to play, and this one is official. There's Antonio Langham with his interception. Speak of the devil, Ricky Davis. Antonio needs only four to become Alabama's all-time interception king. Legion Field continues to be his domain. We see the clock winding down there. Alabama chalking up his first win of the 1993 season. There it is. The final Alabama 31, Tulane 17. Both teams will now exchange handshakes. And for Tulane, this has to be a uh, moral victory, if you will, after getting beat 62 to nothing two years ago in Tuscaloosa, 37 nothing a year ago at home. Today they uh, can hold their heads up high, losing only 31-17.